So let's try this problem. Uh, it says, at 1,000 Kelvin, a sample of pure nitrogen dioxide gas decomposes according to the following equation. So that equation that's written up there. Um, it also gives us that the equilibrium constant Kp is 158. And analysis shows that the partial pressure of oxygen gas is 0 0.25 atm at equilibrium. Calculate the partial pressure of nitrogen monoxide and nitrogen dioxide in the mixture. Okay, so remember uh, the problem gave us Kp here, but um, probably the best thing for us to do to begin is to write the Kp expression. So let's do that. So if you guys recall, when we're writing Kp, it's going to be the partial pressures of the products divided by the partial pressures of the reactants raised to their coefficients. Okay, so let's just write that out. And I would say you guys should write this out while I'm doing it just to make sure you get the same answer as me. So partial pressure of nitrogen monoxide squared times the partial pressure of oxygen gas, no coefficient, so we're not going to put a superscript there. So to the partial, or divided by the partial pressure of nitrogen dioxide squared, like that. Okay, so hopefully everybody got to that point. Okay, so the other thing they told us is that we started with only nitrogen dioxide. Okay, but they didn't tell us the amount that we started with. So that is the big problem. But let's just say, since we like to use X for our ice tables, let's just say we started with some other variable like Y. Okay, so some, some amount. Okay, some pre pressure. Over here, we didn't start with any, so it's going to be zero and zero there. Okay, so we're going to set up an ice table. And since we only started with nitrogen dioxide, right, we're going to subtract, oops, subtract 2x from that side, add 2x to that side, and add x to that side. So we could say y minus 2x, 2x, and x. Okay, so has everybody gotten to something like this? Remember, these are referring to the partial pressures. Okay? So hopefully you guys can see, right? Well, let's erase because we know these what these question marks are now, right? So Partial pressure of NO is going to be what? 2x, right? Partial pressure of this, uh, NO2, y minus 2x. Okay, but look at this. Partial pressure of oxygen is 0 0.25 atm, but it's also x, right? So, what is going to be the partial pressure of NO? It's going to be 2 times x. Okay, so let's just do that. So x equals 0 0.25 atm. So that equals 0 0.50 atm, like that. Okay, so we could do the other um, problem a, no a number of ways. But probably the easiest would be to just plug into the uh, Kp expression, okay? So let's rearrange this Kp expression um, to solve for the partial pressure of nitrogen dioxide. So NO2 squared equals Let's just take that and take the square root of this side so we can raise the whole thing to the one half over there. Is everybody okay with doing that? The same thing as taking the square root. So the partial pressure of NO2 is going to equal NO0.5. 5, 0 squared times 
zero point two five divided by one fifty eight. And then we're going to take the square root of that whole thing. So point five square root times point two five divided by one one fifty eight and second square root. And that gives me zero point zero what is it to two? So zero point zero two zero eighteen. So partial pressure for nitrogen dioxide is zero point zero two atm, and the partial pressure for nitrogen monoxide is zero point five atm. Okay. So um, this one was nice because it gave us this and this. We just have to remember to do the ice table and then just plug that X in for everything, okay? We could have done this another way, um, which is a little more convoluted, but still equally valid. But this is a kind of a better way of doing it. Okay, any questions on this one? Wonderful.